Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a very graphic, colorful project to share with you that absolutely lights my fire and I hope it does yours too. I'm going to be featuring the new mid-century ethereal plate just came out in the latest out of this world release and it reminded me of a project that I made over a year ago. Here's one it's kind of got the same vibe a little simpler version but I used my geometric circle dies to create it and it was a lot of work but it was a lot of fun. Now this mid-century ethereal plate takes it to the next level. First thing I did was die cut it into a panel of soft navy cardstock. My card that I showed you before from a year ago also had a navy background. I feel like colors just explode on navy. So I went back to that. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Although you could do a lot of different backgrounds. So I'm just using the negative space for the navy. Now I'm going to die cut the wazoo out of this mid-century ethereal plate out of a bunch of different colors of solid color cardstock using a lot of Simus's stamp cardstock, orange peel, a little banana, uh, what's a green apple, Audrey blue. I'll have all the colors and all the supplies that I use listed in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, might be a couple colors of Concord Ninth in there as well, but I just went over to my scrap uh, cardstock bin and I started pulling colors out. A lot of times I go to Pinterest for color inspiration. This time I just went from the gut, just did the old red neck it, wing it technique. And so I probably die cut too many. I have enough little pieces to make about 5,000 cards, but that's okay. I'm going to save them. I'll show you later. Uh, popping out all these little pieces and it is fun. Let me tell you. And last one here, a little lipstick red. You can't go wrong adding a pop of red. You can never go wrong, especially on a navy background. Okay, so once I pop all these pieces out, did you guys ever get into the old, what do they call, poppet toys? My daughter Emma used to have tons of these little poppets, these little things you pop and then you flip it over and you push it and you pop it. I think they were called pop. I'm probably not calling it right, but whatever the case, you get the idea. Slide all the innards to the left and um, then we've got our soft navy frame from the mid-century ethereal plate. I'm going to create a white card base, scoring it at four and a quarter using my Alta New scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. My two must-have tools for card making. Teflon bone folder all day, every day. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down flat onto my white card base. So I'm going to flip this over and use a little liquid glue. Now it is kind of intricate to get in all the nooks and crannies. You could also use spray adhesive. You could use those micro dot adhesive sheets. That would work like a charm too. I'm just using my Barely Arts liquid glue. Little dab will do. You don't want too much or it'll ooze out the sides. So I'm gonna just glue that flat down onto the white card base. And then all that's left to do is simply add all the innards, however you wanna add the colors. So I'm just gonna start here um, I've got my little placement wand. It kind of helps to pick up all the little pieces. Also, I just use my fingers. But right now, I'm just getting the lay of the land. I didn't have a plan. What I'm trying to do here is um, just create a bit of uh, an even composition, so to speak, with the colors. And this is how I work. Uh, I just lay it out. I call it getting the lay of the land. Uh, this, my daughter walked by and she said, Mom, this reminds me of my Lego dots. I don't know if you've ever seen Lego dots. They make Legos in these shapes and you can create all these fun patterns. It's kind of um, hypnotic and addictive. And I love playing with stuff like this. We got all these kinds of toys at our house, like wooden magnet toys with shapes like this and we create designs. We've got the Lego dots. Uh, we got the poppet toys. You know, when you got a crafty mom, you're gonna have all the colorful, geometric, magnetic, wooden, toys under the sun and we do okay so I'm just like as you can see when I do the orange I try to disperse it evenly now I'm on to this uh, what is this color called banana I think it's called banana and I'm just trying to make sure that there's yellow evenly dispersed around it you don't want to put a bunch next to each other you want to put some evenly dispersed am I making any sense the truth is nobody really knows what they're doing 
you're just faking it till you make it. And that's it. So none of this is glued down because I'm not ready to commit. I just want to see. And I'm also thinking to myself, am I going to pop this up? Am I going to glue it flat down? Now, when I did my card before that I showed you that I made a year ago, I had to cut those things and I had to line them up. And if you look closely, it's not perfect. But this mid-century ethereal plate allows everything to be so perfect and I don't know if that pleases you but that tickles my fancy like I don't know why it's like the perfectly made bed everything's straight everything's parallel and it just makes me happy these colors popping on the soft navy light my fire so really you could do a lot of different color schemes I think that this um style can be used for any occasion under the sun. You can make it a birthday. You can make it hello, thinking of you. Congratulations, you got the job. You got the dog. Speaking of dogs, our neighbor, our neighbors who have a dog, which is Hank's best friend, Zeke, their daughter, who is going to graduate school, just bought a little Australian Shepherd puppy. And I am dying. And his name is Dash. And so Hank and Zeke and Dash have been playing together. Now, this is a little puppy, let me tell you. But it's so funny to see how dogs have such different personalities. By the way, as you can see, some of the circle ones I am popping up using these little mini 3D foam squares by Simonson Stamp. Just a few, not all, but just to give a little variation on dimension. You know what I say? dimension is life so we got a few popped up back to dash i wish i had a picture of them to show you but if you google australian shepherd puppy be prepared to die of the cuteness he's so adorable and he's in that baby biting mode look like he's got little razor teeth that just bite on your hand and it's so cute and but let me tell you this dog has got sass for days so when you got Hank and Zeke and Dash, that little puppy somehow is the leader of the pack. It's just oozing with confidence. And we live on a pond. That little puppy just just trotted right on down to the pond, the bank of the pond, and just, just fell right in. And the neighbors were like, I don't even know if this, I'm assuming this dog can swim. And it just started going deeper and deeper. And we're watching this puppy. And then it came back to the, to the bank couldn't even get up because it's just a little puppy. They had to pull it out. And we were all just in awe of the confidence of Dash. And that is your life lesson for today. Okay, all these little pieces, I had a little plastic bag. I'm going to save them and I'll do another card later. And maybe I'll use a different color backer, maybe like a soft gray or a cream or I don't know. But I'll save all the innards for another mid-century ethereal rainy day now for the sentiment you know you got to keep it simple card doesn't need no muss no fuss i pulled out the bold hello sentiment strips these are my go-to's but i'll tell you what this might be the first time i've used the black on white and i'm using my little mini guillotine paper trimmer here it's the easiest way to cut it out when you got all the different sizes this is kind of a a larger uh bold hello but i thought that the black on white might pop a little better on this colorful card base. You know what I mean? Usually I use the white on black, but I felt like that might get a little lost since I have that dark background. So black on white it is. Put a few foam squares on the back, centered it using the redneck eyeball it technique. I'm not gonna add any embellishments. I don't feel like it needs it. Shazam! There's a little bit of dimension, not too much, but just enough to tickle your fancy. What do you think? Are you loving this as much as I am? Because I am. And I'm sending you a bold hello, mid-century ethereal hello today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.